Welcome to the part 3 tutorial on the snake game in Flash CS6. So here we are, a happy snake. And notice how when we're eating the pellet, our snake is on top of the pellet. So the idea here is uh, that sometimes you want uh, certain movies um, on top of others. So uh, whether you're talking about snakes being on top of the pellet, or whether you're talking about some kind of nice uh, cannon and you want the bullet appearing like it's coming out of it behind it as opposed to drawing a big circle bullet on top of the cannon. You don't want sometimes big circle bullets to appear on top of the spaceship or a cannon, whatever you have. You want the snake on top of the bullet as opposed to the bullet on top of the snake. This is something that's interesting to note and I'm going to explain that shortly. Okay. So the function that we're on now in this video is initialize. So the idea here is that we have this uh, game over dialog box. We don't want to see it as soon as you play the game. So we're setting its visibility to false. So I guess when we actually do die, you want to set the visibility to true. So the idea of the cannon, or I was talking about, or the idea of a snake on top of the food instead of the food on top of the snake, in, in order to do that, we need to actually introduce the idea of an invisible container. So we set container equals new movie clip, and now the container is uh, is up, declared up here. I just made it a sprite. Sprite movie clip pretty similar. Movie clip just has some more bloat bloat associated with it. So if you don't need it, just make a sprite. So the idea that a container we just it's it's invisible. We haven't actually uh, created a picture associated with it. Which is off the fly, we're adding it. Which is based. It's invisible. It's nothing. So why would I add to the stage an invisible thing? Useless. Actually, it does have a use. So previously in the code, we um, we created a new head, the, the head of a snake, and then we uh, added that head to the uh, stage. But notice how we actually added the container first. So whatever child gets added afterwards is on top. So notice how the head is always on top of the container. That's something very important to remember. The head is on top of the container. And how do we keep bullets or food underneath the head as opposed to on top? We're always going to um, add stuff to the container, to the invisible container, as opposed to just adding it after this head. So order does matter when you add child, and the only way to actually add uh, image objects or underneath is to have this idea of a container. So we have this container uh, object, uh, object, which happens to be always underneath the head. All right. So we somehow um, push the head object uh, onto the parts array. So the parts array is is uh, your snake, as it gets longer and longer, the ray can hold those pieces. And <clears throat> we're just calculating uh, some random x and y positions. And this looks like uh, some foreign language, but uh, I think it'd be easier to understand if you just borrow some uh, random number generator function from the internet, use some function there, how to generate a random number. But for now, if you happen to see this, it's, it's just trust what it does. Funny thing is, if you do copy and paste some code off some websites, just be careful. You get some very strange errors because some uh, symbols change. So when you're talking about uh, why won't this code work and you break it down into pieces and you, and you spend a lot of time debugging, sometimes double quote quotes are not double quotes. They're kind of slanted on the side, so you might have to retype these. Or sometimes the, the dash versus the minus sign look exactly the same, but why is my code not working? So somehow you might want to double check that you retype those dashes so um, it works. Some strange things happen when you copy text off the internet. Alright, so please ignore this little temporary variables I'm using. You could have just stuck this in here. I was just trying to debug why it was not working. So, But everything should work here. So we create some food and then you add to the uh, container so container dot add child remember we created that little invisible container so the food is always uh, underneath the head that's how we, that's a secret to actually making sure that the, what uh, what's in front of the other so here we created new food 
and then we call this function called new food. So initialize here. This is calling the actual code I just explained right now. And uh, next we'll be talking about new food, the new food function. However, just to refresh you on the idea of um, your own custom classes, we've probably talked about this before. Let me the idea of new food. Where is this coming from? If you go to your library, not your library, your library. You go to Control L, and let's see. Uh, here is your food movie clip. It's red. The graphics are uh, phenomenal. Right click, go to properties. You see that we exported for Action Script. This is the idea of you creating your own custom classes, and they happen to be uh, based off the movie clip. So that's what they are. All right, to be continued.